if you have been working with wordpress or very familiar with wordpress you will notice that wordpress doesn't give you the option here to change your username so it's clearly written here that usernames cannot be changed but we all know that while we work on our wordpress we get to a point where we for so many reasons we may need to change our username for some people for security reasons they need to change their username because their username is admin and admin seems to get a lot of attack these days for some other people it could be that a uh, staff who was working with you no longer work and you want to take that user away and possibly have someone else come on board so many reasons why you may need to change your username so if you have any reason at all you want to change your username i got it covered in this tutorial i'll be showing you three super simple easy method for you to change your username by the way my name is Dabs. welcome here to this youtube channel i'm super excited to have you here i do lots of wordpress tutorials I help people look like a pro even if they are non-techie so if you are into wordpress consider subscribing to this youtube channel uh turn on the notification so that you don't miss out on further tutorials from me so without further ado let me show you exactly how you can change your username uh, so number one method which is literally the easiest method is for you to literally create a new username and then delete the old one and attribute all the details of that old one to the new it's super simple super easy so you can just come to your users come to all users you should be able to see all the users on your website in my own case here is just one which is the apps so you can just literally and you can see that i have two posts here so you can literally just add a new post so let's say that is a name is small letter dabs but i want to change it to capital letter dabs email is required apparently i might just use a random email and then i would also change my password that's it so if that user was an admin you want to also make sure that the new user is an administrator as well and then i can add this new user so it says that uh, the name already exists that's okay so i can just call this tabs tutorial right okay so let's hide this password and let's type in back my password all right so let's add a new user all right so you can see we now have dabs here and we have dabs tutorial here right now what we want to do is to delete this user so that we keep this so uh you see that if i over around this i have the option to delete this but i don't have the option to delete this because i'm signed in as tabs as this one so what i would do is to log out and then sign in as tabs tutorial so that i'll be able to delete tabs uh, so now let's do that let's log out so now i can sign in again fantastic so i can come back to users and come to all users so you can see i have dabs here you can see i can now literally delete this and watch this is where you need to pay close attention so you can see uh what should be done with content owned by this user so what i want to do is attribute this content now to a new user called dabs tutorial and that's it confirm deletion so now dabs is gone and then every of the posts that dabs have made which is two posts has now been attributed to dabs tutorial I've been able to see how i changed dabs to dabs tutorial so now let's go to the second method which is for us to use a plugin so we can come to plugin and come to add new and we are going to be using a plugin called easy username updater so we have this plugin here so we can just literally install this and also activate this plugin all right so now that we have this plugin installed and activated if we come to user right now so you would see that we have option now for user updater so let's come here and you can see i have dab tutorial here so i can literally just click the update button and i can change this user from dabs tutorial back to dabs and then i can uh, possibly send this user an email about the updates to the username but that's literally up to you and then i can update username 
and now I've been signed out apparently so I'll need to sign in because definitely I've changed that username so now I have to come in with my old username again and then I can get access back so you can see this is how literally super simple and easy it is for you to change your username so the third method which i'll be showing you in this tutorial would be for you to make changes to your username in your database so that will come in very handy for you in case you don't have access to your wordpress so just for example you forget your username or you forget your password you can easily change this in your database so all you have to do is to go to your hosting in my own case here i am using hostinga again you can have issues not knowing which database is your database if you have more than one website in your hosting account so for you to be able to find out which is your username you need to go to your file manager for example even if you're not using hostinga whatever c panel you are using you can go to file manager and then you can open up uh, the wordpress file for your wordpress so if you get your files here you just need to come to your wp config I, I can right click this and then i can edit this so i can come to my i can locate database name here so i can see my database is u46 uh u46 so i need to just uh remember this u46 so now i can then come back and then search for php my admin usually it should be somewhere around your database you can just open your php my admin I think I have mine opened here uh, so you can see I have a lot of U46 really so I can come back here and look for the one ending with WLQQA so uh, this is the one here ending with WLQQA so I can just enter PHP my admin for that database Okay, so right now we have our database opened what you want to do is for you to locate users here which is most times wp underscore users so if you open this up you can see that this is my username here dabs and this is my password so let's say i want to change my username from dabs i can just literally just click there and then i can just put tutorial again and then i can hit the enter button so you can see my user login has been changed to dabs tutorial so finally i think uh, this is outside of this tutorial but in case you want to change your password too as well so let me show you exactly how to change your password so if you click the edit button here for example you would see that this is the user pass and you can see that this is nothing like the password that i am currently using so if you're doing this you realize that you would not see the exact password because this has been encrypted so what i can do right now is for me to change this password is that i can just type in the password i want to use for the purpose of this for the purpose of this example i will just do one two three four five six so let's say this is my password i can then come to my user pass here and then i'll encrypt this as md5 and then i can come down so as well you can also change your email here i can still change my username here but dabs tutorial is fine all right i can then hit the go button so you can see that my user pass now has been encrypted and my username is now dabs tutorial so now let's come back to our wordpress you can see i literally need to sign in again so now i will do dabs tutorial and then i will do my password as one two three four five six so let's view this you can see and then i can log in back and you can see i am logged in again so now uh let's refresh this and then let's come back to all users so you can see this is now back to dabs tutorial so this is how super simple super easy it is for you to change your username inside of wordpress so if you find this video very useful give me a thumbs up if you really want to master wordpress and you want to learn more wordpress tips and tricks from me ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel because i'll be dropping more videos around wordpress tips and tricks 
in the nearest future. That's my time for this video. I'll see you in another one. Until then, stay safe. Have a nice time.